Hey guys, what's going on? Brofessor here, and today we're back with the next installment of the Top 10 Best LEGO Star Wars sets. Today we're going to be checking out the sets from the year of 2009. And as always, before I jump into it, this is just my opinion, so you do not have to agree with everything that I put on this list. If you would go down in the comments section below and put down your own list, I would love to see what you guys think of the best sets from this year. But with that all out of the way, let's jump straight into it at number 10, where I put set number 8036. This is the Separatist Shuttle, sold for $30, came with 259 pieces and the five minifigures you see there. Two regular battle droids, a pilot droid with the blue droid torso. You get Newt Gunray, and then you get uh, Anakon Defar, who is the roadie on the far left. Both Newt Gunray and Anakon Defar, this is the only real set that both of them came in. So, uh, somewhat rare minifigures included in this set, which is always nice to see. Uh, but I really think that they executed this very nicely. My only, probably, I guess you'd say, pet peeve with this one is the cockpit, where you put the droid pilot is a little small. Uh, yes, this is a smaller set, but I would have liked to see that maybe a little bit larger. Uh, the back, where Anaconda Far and Newt Gunray, you can kind of slide them in. Uh, there's doors that open and close. That's a nice feature. But that back area is also a little small. Uh, I do really like this set. I really just wish it was a little bit larger. Uh, but you get some great minifigures, and they didn't nailed the design of the Separatist Shuttle very well. And that's why I put this one at number 10. So moving on to number 9, we have the Home One Mon Calamari Star Cruiser. This one sold for $110 and came with 789 pieces. Uh, this was one of the 10th anniversary Star Wars sets. This was like the fan voted one that uh, they decided to make based on the fans. This one came with six minifigures, I believe. Uh, you get Mon Mothma, Crix Madin, who is the uh, kind of like um, uh, officer. You see standing next to Lando Calrissian, who's included in this set. You get a Rebel A-Wing pilot, you get Admiral Akbar, and then you also get a Mon Calamari officer. Uh, every single minifigure in this set, except the Admiral Akbar, is actually exclusive to this set. So that is very cool. Uh, something that I really like to see. Very high exclusivity with this. Uh, my real problem with this one is, personally, I don't like play sets, and I feel like that this is kind of what this is supposed to be. Uh, you kind of have, like, a little inside of the Mon Calamari Cruiser. I feel like it's also very weird-looking, uh, like, because you kind of have, like, this little strategy area, and then right next to it, it's kind of like this hangar bay, I guess. Uh, I think it's really cool that they added that A-Wing in there, but uh, for $110, even though you do get pretty much every exclusive minifigure in this set, um, I don't really think that it's worth that price, and personally, this is just not a set that uh, super appeals to me, and that's why I put this one at number 9. So moving on to number 8, we have set number 8018, the Armored Assault Tank, or AAT. This one sold for $50, came with 407 sets. This was another one of the animated Star Wars The Clone Wars TV show sets. This one did come with 7 minifigures. You get the one clone trooper with the, I guess you could say, like, sniper rifle or, like, long rifle gun. You get a nice Clone Wars Yoda minifigure. You get two regular battle droids. And then you also get three super battle droids with the rocket arms, which is a very cool addition in this set. Um, personally, I really prefer the blue colored AT, AAT, excuse me, as opposed to the tan ones that are used in the prequels. Uh, I really like the way that that darker gray and the dark blue really work well together. Um, and then I think that they executed the AAT very well and made it in a very appropriate size. Uh, the early AAT that was made in the tan color scheme, I believe in either 1999 or 2000, uh, was a little small. If they had made that one a little bit larger, I probably would have liked that. But the combination of the size, the minifigures, and the playability that you get with this, because you have the guns on the side, there's a little uh, cart that you can pull out of the back of this. Uh, so just a great all-around set, and that's why I put this one at number 8. So moving on to number 7, we have set number 8014, arguably the best battle pack ever created, the Clone Walker battle pack. This one sold for $12, came with 72 pieces. And is just absolutely amazing. You get two regular clone troopers, you get a clone gunner, and then you get a clone commander. Just a generic one, doesn't ex uh, like have a specific name. But the little walker build, while it has aged, I guess you could say somewhat poorly, uh, it doesn't really hold up to all the walkers of today. At the time, this was something that tons of people were buying uh, 15, 20 of these because you get an amazing army builder. You get clone gunners, clone troopers. You get a variation of the different clone troopers, but you still get 
clone troopers as opposed to nowadays they're making they'll throw two clone troopers in but you get kiati mundi and barris afi and i'm not buying tons of those because i don't want 30 jedi i just want a nice clone trooper battle pack this was probably the pinnacle of the battle pack era or not era but like the little, little sub theme i guess you could say of battle packs uh in my opinion this is probably the best battle pack that was ever created the combination of the minifigures and the nice walker design really puts this one up there and that's why i have this one at number seven so moving on to number six we have set number 8037 anakin's y-wing starfighter uh, this is the, or excuse me, let me get in this, $60, this sold for 507 piece, 570 pieces, so with that out of the way now, uh, this is the Y-Wing design from the Clone Wars TV show, so it is a little bit unconventional, but personally, I like this Y-Wing design as opposed to the, um, uh, original trilogy design, I like how it looks more connected and more, like, I guess you could say complete, I feel like the original trilogy one has come holes and stuff. Uh, I really like how this one is full and complete, and I really like the combination of the white and yellow. I think they got those proportions right. There's not too much yellow. There's not too much white. Uh, you get some nice playability with all the different guns and stuff on there. You get the three minifigures, Ahsoka, R2-D2, Anakin, Skywalker. Uh, they still have those kind of like half golf ball pieces on there. That's something that I really like. And I think they nailed the design of this one perfectly. Uh, there's not really much more that you can ask for out of this set. And that's why I put it at number six. So moving on to number five, we have set number 8019, the Republic Attack Shuttle. This one sold for $60 as well. Came with 636 pieces. And this one is a little bit more controversial just because a lot of people don't like the yellow and red color scheme. But personally, I really do enjoy it. I do think that there could have been better color schemes that they could have made this out of, but I definitely think there also could have been worse. Um, I do agree that it does look a little awkward, uh, but I really do like the color scheme. Um, you get some great minifigures in this one. You get three. You get the Clone Wars Mace Windu, which his face is a little weird, so not my favorite minifigure, but you do also get a regular clone trooper, and then you get a clone pilot included with this one as well. There's a ton of playability with this set. Uh, you get some turrets on the cockpit area, those little um, round things on like, like almost on the wings. I don't even know if those are supposed to be guns or whatever, but you can rotate those. The wings move up and down. You can easily swoosh this. There's a nice interior that you can use to kind of transport clone troopers or just kind of have Mace Windu chill in there. And then those blue flick fire missiles that you see sticking out of the top there, uh, those can also be flicked off with a button in the back that you can press. So you don't even have to flick them yourself. You can just keep pressing that button and those will fire until the uh, uh, clip is empty. And then that piece that's holding them there will actually fall through to the bottom. Uh, overall, I really like this set. Like I said, color scheme looks nice. I think you get a great slew of minifigures. Uh, it looks good on display, but it also has great playability, which is something that I like to see in a lot of sets. And that's why I put this one at number five. So moving on to number four, we have set number 10198, the UCS Tantive 4. This one sold for $150, came with 1,408 pieces. Uh, you also get the five minifigures included. You get R2-D2, C-3PO, Princess Leia. You get just a regular Rebel Trooper. And then you also get Captain Antilles, the only set that he ever appeared in. And also the Rebel Trooper. This is only the second set that this version of that minifigure appeared in. So you do get some nice minifigures in this set. And I really like the Tantive 4 design, personally. I like how they're... In the back, you just have this giant kind of booster area, and then it kind of slims out a little bit, and then it gets like a little thicker there in the middle. And then I think that they really nailed the cockpit area. It is a little small uh, compared to the rest of the ship. I would have liked to see them maybe make that cockpit area a little larger, but you have very easy access. You can just kind of flip that up, flip that down. Uh, the other thing that I don't really like is with the cockpit, the piece that you do flip up and down, the color is a little bit off. It's not the same white as everything else. So that does look a little weird up in the front. Uh, but overall, amazing design. Once again, you get some nice playability. You get the turret on the top and the bottom. You get some of those turrets on the side. Uh, everywhere, there's just tons of detail packed into this thing. And uh, that's why I put this one at number four. So moving on to number three, we have set number 8038, the Battle of Endor. Uh, this one sold for $100, came with 890 pieces, excuse me, uh, and came with a ton of minifigures. I think, I'm pretty sure you get 12 minifigures in this set. You get Chewbacca, Han Solo, an Imperial Trooper, R2-D2, you get two Scout Troopers, Princess Leia, and then you also get three um, Ewoks. You get Chief Chirpa, Wicket, Paplu, and then you also get 
two Rebel Commandos. Uh, they jam-packed a lot into this 10th anniversary set, and that's uh, something that I really like. I like how they didn't just do the bunker. Uh, they added some other playability features that you have because you do get a lot of good guy minifigures, uh, but they kind of balance that off by putting in that ATST, and then you also get the two uh, speeder bikes that can also be used for playability. Um, I think the Endor bunker on itself looks pretty good on display. Uh, once you start throwing in everything else, it does look a little weird, uh, but there's great playability with this set and I think they nailed it very accurately. Uh, the inside of the Endor bunker has some great detail. Uh, probably my least favorite thing about this is that little catapult uh, area. I kind of wish they would have just kind of dropped that. Uh, I think that's pretty useless but it is nice to see some Ewoks included. You get some great minifigures, you get some great detail and that's why this one is up at number three. So moving on to set Number two on the list, we have set number 10195, the Republic dropship with ATOT Walker. This one sold for $250, came with 1,758 pieces. And this is probably uh, one of the best Clone Wars sets that has ever been released, not just from this year, but one of my personal favorites. Uh, unfortunately, I was not able to pick this up, uh, but it looks absolutely amazing. You get eight minifigures in this one you get two clone pilots and then you get six uh regular clone troopers so while you probably won't be buying multiples of these to build an army i guess you could say uh even just buying one you get a little kind of substantial mini army uh to fight some droids uh they did an amazing job putting a lot of detail into this the actual like drop ship part looks absolutely amazing uh it does look a little weird how it's kind of skinny i mean that is very accurate but I would have liked to see them maybe make that like neck of the ship a little longer. Um, I really like the cockpit area of the actual like ATOT part. Um, I think this just looks absolutely amazing. My biggest problem with this is the price. Uh, for $250, you only get the 1,758 pieces. Uh, while it's not the worst in the world, um, I really wish they would have dropped this price down. I think that this definitely would have sold even better than it did because this is one of the most popular sets. Uh, so that's really what puts this at number two when compared to the number one set on this list where I put set number 8039, the Venator Class Republic Attack Cruiser, $120, 1,170 pieces. And this is one of the best sets in the Clone Wars era. Personally, it might be my favorite. You get five uh, minifigures included in this one. You get the Clone Gunner. Once again, this is only the second set that he appears in. He appears in only those two sets that I mentioned. Another clone pilot. You get two Senate Commandos, and then you also get the Emperor Palpatine, or I guess you could say Supreme Chancellor Palpatine at the time. Uh, and then he also comes with a little holographic Death Star plan uh, minifigure headpiece. Uh, but this set has absolutely amazing detail. You got some great playability with all those weapons on the side. I think this looks absolutely great on display. You just kind of let it... I mean, it's one of the more iconic ships uh, right alongside the Republic uh, gunship and the ATTE from this type of, uh, like, the Clone Wars era and everything. This is definitely one of the most recognizable ships that you can find. Um, unfortunately, they have not made another one of these. I really wish that LEGO had... Uh, obviously, it's been over 10 years now, uh, but hopefully with the Clone Wars show that will be coming out on Disney+, Plus, they will release another one of these, whether it be another playset like this or a UCS version. I would love to see a UCS Venator Class Republic attack cruiser. Uh, but w once again, the color scheme is amazing. You have that nice, the nice red accents, and then you also have a combination of the dark gray and the light gray, which really uh, work well together. I think if they made it in either just dark or light, uh, it would have looked a little awkward. Uh, but they did an absolutely amazing job packing as much detail into this as possible, while also including some nice mini figures to boot. So guys, that'll be it for this one. If you did enjoy, don't forget to go down there, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button if you're new, and leave a comment down below letting me know what your top 10 sets are from this year. And don't forget to come back next week where I will have the top 10 sets from the year of 2005. But with that, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.